is Ask the Expert with OJ Hollingsworth. Brenda Hollingsworth with me, info at ottawalawfirm.ca, phone 2334-LAW, or on the web, askbrenda.ca. And there's our address as well, but I would suggest the first three options before visiting. Uh, Brenda, we were talking about uh, inside the grocery store where first we talked about um, slip and falls, which are the yes. most typical? Yes, definitely most common. Okay, and then things falling, like what? Falling on? Uh, displays. Uh, there's okay. a display of, um, well, you know, a lot of these stores have furniture items now, yes. too. So you reach up to get, uh, oh, that lawn chair looks nice, mm -hmm. and you take the first one, and the, the first thing. one was holding all of them. Right, and so they come not down. properly secured. Okay. That's right. Okay. So the display's not proper exactly. Okay, and, and it's the series of events that would really be, like, so if a, if a particular store has a bad track record, that's going to play into well, the case? Well, it's relevant for sure. I mean, the most important thing when you have an incident at a grocery store is that you speak to the manager and that an incident okay. report is done. And take, especially if you slip and fall, look at what you fell in. Mm -hmm. I am amazed by the people who say, well, I know it was wet and my clothes were wet, but... I, like, was it clear? Was, was it, it white? Was it, what, yeah. Like, what was it? Oh, I don't know. You know, wow. you know, or, well, I'm pretty sure it was water. <laughs> you know, like, so take, look at what you fell in. So, if there, I mean, there would be a difference between uh, water on the ground and eggs, right? I, I, in, right. In a, in a way, wouldn't there? Well, in terms of the store's obligation to keep things tidy, mm -hmm. um, you know, little drops of water that come off people's umbrellas or something, they might get more lenience than if there's a maple syrup spill, okay. you know, yeah. or an oil spill, which I've had that. Yeah, where and, someone's like canola oil is Exactly, okay. and you see that, right? You see the smashed canola oil. Yeah. And so, you know, somebody picks it up but misses a lot of it. Um, that happens okay. for sure. So now, you know, these, these uh, grocery stores have cameras everywhere. Right. Are you allowed to ask for those in yeah. a proceeding? Yeah, we ask for them. Now, if you wait until further on, those are taped over, right? They don't they don't preserve them. Uh, the purpose of those cameras is loss prevention, right? Choplifting. So once they've kind of checked it out over the day, I don't know, different sorts of different loops, but mm -hmm. it's not going to exist three weeks, four weeks, six weeks later. I couldn't see more than a month loop. Yeah, I have, yeah. I mean, different stores, different policies. Mm -hmm. So you need to ask for that right away. So when you come to us shortly after your grocery store uh, incident, we have a much better chance of preserving those cameras. Right. But the thing about that is a lot of people say, well, I didn't look at what was on the floor, but it's okay because it's all on video. Well, we've all seen those gra grainy... The, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to see the orange juice on the floor. You're going to see that you fell, and that can be useful to show that, you know, your feet went out from under you as opposed to, you know, you stumbling over your stilettos. Right. So that can be useful. And when, when it comes to a store defending themselves, do they use fraud as a defense? Uh, at times? I haven't had that. Okay. I have never had a slip and fall case where they've denied that there's been a slip and fall at all. Because you're vetting so well. Yeah, that's okay. right. Yeah, I wouldn't advance a case that I kind of wondered about. Right. Uh, usually it's, well, it wasn't our fault. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to be perfect. Uh, we have someone who inspects the aisles every half hour, and that's reasonable, and it must have okay. happened in between those inspections. Those are the kinds of defenses that we get. All right. Yeah. Uh, so many uh, fascinating things about personal injury and so many things that uh, are avoided by embarrassment really is your biggest enemy in, in Oh, your game. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, suck up that moment of embarrassment. It's not your fault, right? right? You fell on something. Yeah. Um, and uh, just get the help, mm. speak to the people, get the witnesses. If you can take a picture, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, all we of those all things. We can basically take a picture, can't we? At yeah, this point? I mean, we, we have really lots have of phone. we have lots of broken wrists, so I can yeah. understand okay. how they don't. But no. generally speaking, you should try. Brenda Hollingsworth, uh, askbrenda.ca from OJ Hollingsworth two three three four Law as well. That's how you get a hold of them uh, and get yourself some representation. At least ask the question Absolutely. if something happens. Thank you very much Thank for joining you. us. That's Ask the Expert this morning.